Hi everybody. Wanted to make a quick video on installing the yaw damper bracketry at the phase that I'm at right now, which is currently the bottom tail cone skin is on and riveted to the J channels with of course the ribs in place. I wanted to do a video on how to install that so that you don't have to do it further down the road when it's a lot harder. I am going to flip the camera around and then I'll show you the stage that I'm at and the plans and how I'm interpreting the way to do it. Because the plans of course are after the aircraft is essentially built. Um, and there, there's a lot of steps in there that aren't needed at the stage that I'm at. Okay, so here's the stage that I'm at. Bottom skins are done. The, like I said, riveted on to the J channels here. Your bell crank angles, all of that fun stuff was already put on here with this bulkhead. And then, of course, you have these couple of bulkheads down here. Now, um, I'm going to just kind of focus on this for just a second so that somebody could essentially take a screenshot and see those steps and how they would relate to them if they were at this stage. Um, I feel for the people who essentially build up the entire tail cone and then have to do this because it looks like a pain. Um, so, as you can see, there's a good couple of steps on here that just aren't needed. Um, the first one that you're going to get to um, after you've riveted the four rivets right here, which then attach to this angle. The next step that you're going to get to, which is a relatively tough step. See if I can get good enough lighting here. Sorry about that. So here's the, the problematic step. This F14139, which is the bell crank plate, that does not come with the tail kit. That comes with the fuselage kit. I ordered that a week ago. I'm still waiting. Sorry, I ordered that two weeks ago. Still waiting for it to come in. I don't blame Vans. It's, you know, a week after... Sun and fun, so they're backlogged, et cetera, et cetera. So instead of waiting for vans to actually ship that out to me, I asked them what the thickness of 14139 was. They said it's 63 thousandths. In the kit, it gives you uh, this plate, this plate, and this shim over here. Well, the F14189C is 63 thousandths. So what I've done is I've moved that underneath here where the plate would normally sit between these two holes to essentially make up that thickness across here. And then I can get my drilling for these two holes and the correlating two holes on the other side. And to show you what that looks like, you can see this is that extra shim that would normally be sitting here if I had the bell crank plate. And so what I did is I made sure that it was under this uh, it, that it was to this side of the bolt so that this is sitting completely flush because of course if I just put it under this flange right here it might allow the back to sit a little bit lower than what it should so these two screws are down tight and then it says to clamp the flange right here to the back side drill your holes which I'm just about to do and then you're of course going to rivet with that said, this is the first time that I've run into it. I do and will need this angle drill attachment because no matter what I do, I cannot get the drill perpendicular to the hole that is right here. There's, it's just at an angle that is not gonna allow that. So when it is in this step, right here where it says clamp the flanges and then use an angle drill. This part right here, angle drill, they're not kidding. Even with the kit not fully built, you will need an angle drill. Yeah, so hopefully this was uh, informational to some people. If you have lots of time on your hands, order this F-14139 bell crank plate like I did and just wait for it to come in. If you don't, just use the shim right there. It'll work just the same. It's the same thickness as the bell crank plate. 
Hope this helps somebody. Take care.